We all have big ideas sometimes. But sometimes it's tough to get them off the ground or no. That's where Eureka comes in. With Eureka on your side, I guarantee you that your business or big idea will explode. And even if you live in an underprivileged area with uh, not a ton of, of, of economic opportunities, you will be doing great if you have Eureka on your side. Go over to eureka.biz slash join now and you will be able to experience what I think is truly the gold standard of helping small businesses hit the ground running. So do me a favor, support my channel, and go to Eureka. Thank you. Now it's time to move on to Hawaii. Hawaii is a not really a swingy state, but please do stick around. In 2016, Hillary Clinton won this by a very, very safe margin, by uh, over 32 points over Donald Trump. Uh, so, she also got over 60% of the vote here. This was one of four states that she um, achieved this feat. So, yeah, it it, it, it it is a pretty blue state, but politically, it, it can be interesting. As expected, Joe Biden is my projected winner in Hawaii. I mean, all the signs point to him winning there, like... Uh, not a ton of polling data, but this is a very blue state, and uh, even the weakest uh, Democratic candidates, uh, like Mike Dukakis, have, have won it. So, yeah. I predict that Joe Biden will defeat Donald Trump in the state of Hawaii by a very safe margin. Uh, so, yeah. This adds to the Democrats' total in the Electoral College. In the House of Representatives... Uh, or, sorry, I just want to show you guys the Senate map, uh, first. So, this is the Senate map. But first, in the House of Representatives, uh, Ed Case is going to, to be reelected. He did say some weird stuff, like, I am an Asian in a white man's body. But, uh, but nevertheless, he'll still win, and he's popular, so no bad sense for him in, in his district. And in the second district, Brian Evans, I expect to win. Now, this is an open seat. So, uh, this is actually for, uh, T Tulsi Gabbard's former seat. Uh, she is retiring and probably isn't going to go into politics again because of her, um, unpopularity. So, yeah, she I is going to be replaced by Brian Evans, who will, uh, probably win this district. Basically, wh whoever wins the Democratic nomination is probably going to win, and I predict that it'll be Brian Evans. So, yeah. The Democrats currently do have a lead in the House of Representatives, and Hawaii only helps them. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I uh, hope hope that you enjoyed this. This was a pretty short one because this is Hawaii, a um, pretty small, you know, small area, and uh, not a ton of House district, only two House districts, and no Senate or governor's races. So thanks for watching. And um, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.